sort of line up with the original mo the original series in a sense with this idea of the virus. Yeah. Um, but you also bring a new element to things as well. So it seems like you you're able to connect and yet expand. Well, to me, the idea is that you always have the 68 film as a trajectory, but truthfully, because the 68 film uses evolution as the thing that changes the apes, and then that happens very differently with the virus and Rise, the timeline and, and the, the, the literal aspect of the movie is different. So to me, what's exciting is to be part of the universe and to be vibrating against the originals, but not actually be the same. And so we're still trying to figure out how the humans become the mute cattle we see in the 68 movie. And so we have our own proposition about how that happens, which is viral related. And we're still getting toward this idea of the alpha and the omega and all that kind of stuff, but in our own way. So it's an interesting thing where if you're a fan of the originals, there are these ways that the films resonate through them, but they're really quite different. And yeah. that, that's been part of the fun. Can things continue from here? Do you have any oh, sense? Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that was, again, you've got the 68 film that, that is different from all of the rest. You look and you say, wait a minute, Caesar's apes are not like those apes. And the humans are like cattle and they're, you're, they're sort of, you know, they're mute. And the idea is that this is like this grand Russian novel that takes us from here to there, and we're still not there yet. And one of the things, you know, Bad Ape is really a seed. And the seed that he is is that there are other apes out there. And these apes did not have the benefit of Caesar's leadership. And so what are these communities of apes like? They're, you know, Bad Ape is a, he's a, he's a hermit. He's by himself. He's trying to survive. He's a heartbreaking character. But the implication is there could be communities of apes from some of these zoos. And what are they like? And so to me, the idea that the conflicts that come forth are not just necessarily in a subsequent stories, human and ape only, there might be conflicts between communities of apes. What happens to Caesar's apes when they meet these other apes, these other colonies? What might seem initially like, you know, something wonderful could end up being quite horrifying. So I think there's a lot of story left to go. Great. And there's all the characters we still love, like a bad ape and Maurice and, and Rocket, so.